You know what? Put this on the list so maybe you went and found it already. Have you seen the Greg Popovich clip from last week? No, you told me you were going to throw the audio I in I have here, the so. audio here. I just wondered if you had seen it yet. Nope. And, and so this but is... But Pops is, is, is want to speak his mind yeah. on a regular basis. Yeah. Uh, this is from last week. It's the LA Clippers in San Antonio. That has, of course, Kawhi Leonard, who had a fairly controversial divorce with the Spurs that... Turned out pretty well for the Raptors up here. Boardman uh, gets paid. He got paid. And um, so like many stars who roll back into their former market, especially if it's ended in a way that they feel justly or unjustly. And in this case. I'm jilted. Yeah. They're they're booing Kawhi every time he rolls back in. And Kawhi is not what Kawhi <laughs> once was at this point. Um, but as he's playing. Through uh, through this game in San Antonio, he's getting booed like he often does uh, every time he touches the ball. So the audio I'm about to play, he's gone to the free throw line, and uh, the crowd's having a free shot at him. He's the only one standing out there doing anything. So here's how uh, here's what happened. Eighty percent from the line in the season, and Kawhi with eight points tonight, three of five from the floor. It is only three. And, Excuse me for a second. Pops on the mic. Stop all the booing. Let these guys play. It's our own class. It's not who we are. Knock off the booing. I'm telling the fans to lay off Kawhi Leonard, but that's not San Antonio. Well, I don't believe I've ever seen that. (laughs) (laughs) So that is head coach of the San Antonio Spurs, Greg Popovich, grabbing a live mic uh, and telling the fans, "Hey, stop booing. That's not who we are. It is." who you are, uh, like so many markets. Um, have you ever seen anything quite that? Look, you and I have debated a bunch of times, whether it's right to boo these guys, you know, this is a whole other level. This is a head coach during a game telling the fit. And that was never going to go well. If you're a sports fan and someone tells you to stop booing or you in particular, are you not going to boo louder? Like, uh, yeah, it's it to me. It is, and and you're not even booing the home team. No, you're booing. You're booing. Uh, well, this has been my issue before. Like, there's a lot of people who get all high and mighty about you can't boo the home team. You're supposed to support them. I paid my money. If I want to boo the home team, that's what I'm going to do. I've paid big money. Right, to and so be we here. talked about this a few weeks ago when Debrinket came back to Ottawa. This is a guy who left Ottawa for family reasons, didn't want to be here long term. I certainly understand why fans would be upset about it, but, you know, whether you needed to boo or not, I I thought it was a little over the top. You didn't. You said uh, you probably wouldn't do it again. Were you in that situation? Like, I've I've had my piece, right? I've said it once. I've done it once. Like, boo to bring it? Or you don't? Yeah. Yeah. No. It's, it's uh, you mean, do it on the first game, and then you kind of get over it. Because this isn't one of those ones, the Debrinket one. Yeah. He, there's not, he's not a heritage player, right? He's not a... Yeah, he was here for a year. A year get out of here. In and gone. And, and I... As Didn't I, have time to get too exactly attached or and again the guy hadn't even played a game he's like yeah they got a lot of shooters here we'll see what happens in yeah. terms of resigning like that's he hasn't played a game here and he's already saying that so right yeah, yeah the writing was on the wall so so fans boo but i and i don't really have an issue with booing the road team at all but greg popovich had an yeah. issue with well, uh, and, and and popovich is yeah he is a hall of famer yep He's a legend. It's maybe a little past his prime. Yeah. Well, because, you know, you look at that, that, you know, David Robinson, Tim Duncan, <laughs> like you just start to roll through the guys who played there. Yeah. Small Argentinian guy. <laughs> name escapes me. Um, not, not Manu. Ginobili? Maybe. Maybe. Um, but. Big German guy. They had. Disco Dirk. He was a maverick, I think. It's a good point by you. Uh, <laughs> NBA experts. <laughs> um, just it's important detail. You know, it's one of those things where you go, show me a good coach. I'll show you a coach with a good goaltender sure. or, or whatever it is in hockey. Right. And you go, I've had a great roster. And and they were a small ish market, San Antonio. Yeah. That had a good coach and, and was blessed with some good players. But I think he was respected above that, right? Like, well, he, and he was also he's a guy who says it like he, f- yes, feels. he has said uh, on on a bunch of important issues. He has not been afraid to stand up and say the unpopular thing 
and take the blowback that comes with it. Yeah. This to me came off so condescending, so arrogant that you think you're going to get 20,000 people to, to settle down and stop booing. Yeah. Uh, it ain't happening. It's not. It's not. And it's not I've your never spot. seen a head. And like that woman said at the very end of the clip, I don't believe I've ever seen that. Before. Well, to grab a live mic <laughs> right. in game, it's not like in a post game presser where he says, I think it's Bush. Would you like to hear what he said about it at his post game presser? 100%. Well, I think anybody that knows anything about sports, you don't poke the bear. You told the fans that it was... I just, I just told you why I did it. What, can you clarify that, though? What, um, I, 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 I spoke English. I just told you. <laughs> Anybody that knows anything about sports knows you don't poke the bear. That's my answer. Pop just one more on the... Uh... What you said to the fans, was that something? That's all, that's, all I, that's all I need to say. I don't know how you want me to... You want me to make up a different answer? No, I'm asking. I gave you the answer. I gave the answer. Okay. There's no other questions that need to be asked. You didn't want Kawhi Anybody else? to have a... You didn't, you didn't want Kawhi to be motivated by the booing. Is that what you mean? You know exactly what I mean. You don't Sorry, poke the bear. Terrible. Now, he also had a sweet nose whistle going there. I wasn't sure if it was me. I'm like, is that me? (laughs) I better get off the mic. (laughs) I I was leaning back. I'm like, is that me whistling like that? Oh, that's him. Okay. Had a sweet nose whistle going with that open mic. (laughs) Um, That's a terrible excuse. You don't poke the bear. Yeah. Um, There is some logic to that in some er Like, that doesn't work here. But there are times, like we've always heard, like Mark Messier was one of those guys. If he doesn't have it tonight, don't touch him. Don't hit him. Don't. Milan Lucic in his prime. Right. Just let him skate up and down the wing and not really be involved. Don't get him fired up about it. So I understand the logic. That's not why he... (laughs) Yeah. That's not what this was about. He and Kawhi at one point were very tight. Like to say, I respect Kawhi too much. Like there was never going to be a good reason to say, hey, this is why I did this ridiculous thing. But to me, he picked the worst possible answer. Yeah. And you've, you've overstepped. You don't like it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You're being very well compensated to coach this team. Mm-hmm. You're not paying tickets to see this shit every night. <laughs> and whatever else happens, man, I want to have my say. And if it's if it's in reasonable taste, yeah. you know what I mean? Let it go. When I think right now, uh, as you and I <laughs> sit here, San Antonio only has three wins on the season. So there might be... Some Outside frustration. frustrations that are boiling over here. I just can't imagine the arrogance that it would take to go, you know what? I'm Greg fucking Popovich. If I tell these people to settle down, they're going to listen to me. I'm going to get on this microphone and say, hey, don't boo Kawhi. We're better than that. Because you're not better than that. <laughs> Clearly, this is what sports fans do. So I, I don't know, man. I, if I got to come down in the rumpus room. <laughs> And start speaking to you children. <laughs> I will not accept this. This love, is not how we love behave. A good rumpus room. Yeah, no, it's honestly, it's one of those. Yeah, that's where I keep my slacks. Right, and my dungarees. Your Chesterfield. Yes. Um, I'm not Next sure. Next to the credenza. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, or an ottoman uh, or yeah. a hassock. Sure, a hassock. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's um, it's a cushioned sort of footstool ish. All right. Um. Yeah. Are you from San Antonio, First Pops? I'm not sure you are. No. And I know you've lived there a long time and had some success. Yeah. And as I said, it's the, it's the little market that punched above its weight. For sure. But come on, man. I think you've overstepped. You are, don't, don't take yourself into the Bill Belichick sort mm. of lane where you, you decide, decide that you don't have to answer this question. You don't need to. Hey man, engage with the engage with the press. These this is the fans. You've already condescended to the fans, and you can condescend to them as you pointed out in the press conference. Yeah. Like you don't have who does this. Like who? I see a microphone over there. I'm going to tell you people <laughs> to settle down. You don't know. And again, if I'm a, if I'm a Spurs fan, I'm sure I got a pile of time for Greg Popovich. Sure. And so I I will, re, I will and re- I don't like Kawhi Leonard. Everything yeah. about this is just sports 101. Yeah. When, right? when, when he talks about don't poke the bear. That's stupid. You're like, yeah. And this isn't, this isn't 20, 
19. Kawhi. Kawhi. No, it's not. And so that you, bear's been poked and knocked over. It's yeah. <laughs> well, this is it. And you're like, that is now a... It's just know, a guy. It's just a guy. And so it's it's just... It's it's ridiculous. And again, it's not even the home, the home team. No. Like, I get it if... See, if, you're surprising me with your take on this a little bit, that it would be more normal to boo the home team than the returning villain, like the... Well, that you're going to get on the microphone. Oh, stop booing us is yeah. what you're saying. Like I'm saying if, if you're going to get on and You're booing my player. Stop booing this your is whole... It. Okay, I see. Yeah, as opposed to going, hey... Stop booing that guy who yeah, abandoned you. This is, or, or just the guy, <laughs> in, the, you, guy in the other jersey. <laughs> right. Don't boo that guy. You're like, yeah, this is the home fan who is saying no matter what... I think, I think Greg Popovich might boo his own team right now. Okay, <laughs> hey, this is it. If you want to get on and join the crowd, yeah. boo. Like, it's fine, man. If you want to boo the home team, I'm saying you got to let the home team... Home boo fans the, boo the opposition. Boo the opposition, yeah. man. That guy's coming into our barn. We're right. going gonna to give him the business. Right. I don't have any time for that. I get, I get it if Popovich was saying, and I can't name you one spur <laughs> right at this moment. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, our guy is struggling. Get off his back, right? This is we, it. We I'm need. Gonna, I'm going to take the heat off my guy. Yeah, 